Hello everyone. So this is my project to interface the communication of BeagleBone Black with uh, ADXL 345 accelerometer as a slave. And BeagleBone Black is a master here. So first of all, I've connected my BeagleBone Black with my uh, PC using a USB cable. And I've configured uh, the accelerometer um, by using uh, connections and wires. Um, so first of all, uh, we have to check whether um, so first of all, we have to check whether uh, it is uh, the accelerometer ADXL uh, three four five is detected by our beagle boon or not. So for that, we have to. Uh, check it through uh, our terminal so let's do it uh, I will make it easy for you to uh, view it so now let's check it whether it is detected or not so using a command i2c detect to see detect dash r I'm writing to because uh, my accelerometer is uh, connected to i2c2 pin so um, yes so here we can see that uh, our accelerometer ADXL uh, 345 is detected here and its address is 53 now in order to get the values of x y z axis of uh, our accelerometer um, we have written a code that is c code so let's go through our code here we have written a slave address of accelerometer as 0 cross 53 as i've shown here that is 53 then uh, this is a path path file of i2c um, that is configured as dev i2c2 uh, i can show it here too like cd dev ls dash la here you can see the i2c2 pin around here this is the one yeah so let's go back mm. let's go back to our code so these are the registers that are having values as defined in the data sheet mm, this is a bandwidth rate this is power CTL. This is state data format register, which is used to configure the data. Um, then these are the registers for X, Y, Z. This is for X. This is uh, LSP of X axis. And this is MSP. Uh, similarly, it is for Y and Z. Then, then I've made a, I've I've just uh, declared a variable well, that is 0.5 and uh, that is used for pointing a file so here we have made actually two functions that is ADXL345 init that is used uh, for initializing and the second function is ADXL345 read that is used to read the data so uh, I will go through uh, initializing of ADXL345 here I have made a buffer that is having two elements uh, that is used to store data and address that is of 8 bits as character data type is containing or is defined for 8 bits data. Mm, so here I'm, I'm, opening, I'm opening the file um, then I'm connecting to slave 
then I'm configuring the baud rate or bandwidth rate uh, to 3200 and turn the low power off. This is all mentioned uh, in the data sheet. Uh, then configuring I'm um, configuring the data format register to set its full resolution uh, then this is power control uh, here I'm configuring the power control register to turn on the measurement mode as usually it is off so I'm I'm turning it on now let's come to ADXL 345 read similarly here I have declared uh, variables three variables X Y Z axis uh, this is of short type because uh, these data are are of 16 bits uh, 8 bits for LSB and 8 bits for MSB so here I'm opening the file similar as before connecting to slave that is ADX L345 then this buffer is used uh, to like this buffer is used to start the default value from here and then just increment the value to get the values of x 0 x1 and similarly uh, y and z values so so we were here so I've set it to 0 cross 3 2 uh, as mentioned above that is 0 plus 3 2 mm, then uh, I'm reading this six, the six registers data registers here uh, and finally I'm closing this uh, 0.5 variable so to get uh, the full data of uh, x-axis uh, first of all, I have to left shift the 8 bits uh, in a 16 bit uh, register uh, to get the value of uh, MSP and then I will OR it with uh, ORing is like adding. So I'm just ORing it with uh, uh, this LSP bit so that I can get full 16 bit of data. Similarly, I've done it for X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, here in main code, I've defined the variables. And yes, let's try to run this code. I'm in my beagle bone black. So let's, let's start. Okay, so I have to go to my home directory. So here are my files. So I've made a file ADXL345 files. Here I made my executable using gcc o command. So let's try to run it. So here are my readings. As you can see, um, the values are pretty constant as I'm doing nothing here. It is in the constant state. But as I'm moving my accelerometer, see, the values are changing as you can see here. Again, it is in constant state, so the values are pretty constant here. So this was our project of uh, interfacing the Beagle Bone with uh, ADXL accelerometer using I2C interfacing. Okay, thank you.